Well, I'm going to try to build a speaker. Alright, so I am going to build a cardboard speaker. I have a neodymium magnet, which is kind of overkill for this, but uh, I'm going to be using this as the magnet. I'm going to build a coil going around it, and hopefully everything works. I believe it might, depending if I can actually make the speaker itself. I've already kind of made a test piece here just to kind of see how it would look, but I'm going to go a lot bigger than this. So this is the biggest box I have. I will be making it from here. All right, so what size are you? You are 10, so I can do five. There. Do my 45s here. I'm going to change this up a bit. So I kind of changed this up a little bit. Um, I just kind of moved the lines uh, on the outside. Uh, I just wanted to kind of make them as thin as possible. It's not completely too thin, but uh, yeah. There we go. So I'll be cutting out these sections here and the inside ring. I think starting to kind of look like a clock. Cool though. So now all I have to do is just start cutting things out. Uh, I can start with this, I guess. There we go. I'm just trying to be easy with it. I don't want to bend it or anything. Not yet, anyways. I'm just going to cut this out and get back to you after. I have made the coolest sea ever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just make a tiny little slit here, 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 and here. Just enough that way I can fold it on those corners. So, should fold on that corner. I can actually fold it in like this. Yeah, let's see where that's at. It's uh, actually not bad. Bought myself a cheap $3.50 mini glue gun from a dollar store. See how good this thing really is? I'm not doing a review on a glue gun though. Man, I hate these packages. Why they exist is beyond me. Cute little thing. And I just want to show you how this thing looks so far. It's actually starting to look like a speaker there. Pretty cool, huh? While waiting for the glue gun, I decided that I'm going to make a few more slits in this. That looks decent enough. I'm going to end up putting glue on these seams anyway, so it's not a big deal. That will give it its strength back. Now, this thing should sit a lot nicer. Oh yeah, and it does too. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape here. Just going to pinpoint exactly what I want to do before I use that glue gun. So I'm only going to tack in a few areas with glue. I'll just go right around it with glue after. It's just tacking it down. Not a bad little glue gun. Seems to do a pretty good job. While I was waiting for my glue gun, I decided to cut this piece out here. That way I can fit it onto the bottom. So I'm going to be gluing this into place now. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. It's actually starting to look good. So my next plan with this is I'm going to extend this out something similar to like this. Uh, the reason being is because I want the cone to actually be able to move up and down. Uh, this might actually have to extend out as well, which I'm probably going to use this piece for that. So I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do this, but I think I figured it out. Uh, this is a neodymium magnet. This is actually overkill for this project, but uh, I have a Scott towel tube here. This is actually from one of the food saver bag things. So I'm going to be, I'll show you how this is going to work. So this magnet is going to be sitting in the center of this piece. Then this is going to try to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. This one is a little bit larger. This will fit the 
scut towel tube and these ones are actually um, the same size for the scut towel tube it's just they're a little bit wider to make it look like a real magnet so the scut towel tube will go straight down and it'll be nice and smooth this will go on top then this will be on top of that so that's pretty much how it's going to look so this tube here i'm going to wrap a bunch of wire around here and it's going to be on the outside since this is a really strong magnet i don't think it really matters inside i just don't want it to be rubbing against that magnet when it goes up and down like that and this is going to sit inside of this tube this part is next to be glued into place go let's put that in okay i wanted to show you guys my next step i'm building the cone and the spider uh, i already cut this out and it would just fold up just like this and sit inside of here like so i have to do some cutting though i think this is the hardest part is the cone itself i have the spider in here and it seems to fit just perfectly fine I am going to be putting this tube in though. I just want to make sure everything fits nice and snug. I can start bending these tabs down. This here is a spider. Uh, this here is going to have some copper wire wrapped around it and it will be attached to the cone. There will be some movement allowed depending on the spider. It is kind of straight so there's that. I'm going to start wrapping some wire. So I have it all wrapped up now. I have the wires coming up to the top here. See, there's some movement. Okay, I just gotta get this cone and stuff together now. I am gonna take this spider off. So I need to glue this to the cone. I'm just putting glue down on the spider. This should now move. Oh yeah, it moves all right. It's starting to look like an actual speaker. I gotta put the bottom on. The only reason why I didn't put that on yet is because I need to actually center this thing. Sweet. That's awesome. Alright, what I'm doing now is working with the wiring here. I'm just going to do some soldering. The solder just does not want to stick whatsoever. Well, all it needs now is a dust cap. That is it. Everything is good to go. Looks really nice. Got my wiring there. I'm not really sure which side's positive or black. I just decided to throw it on. I can always switch them from the ends there. So not a big deal. This is the second day of what I'm going to call this thing a subwoofer. Um, reason why is because I've already heard it. It sounds pretty good. Uh, there is one slight issue to it though. When I went to test this thing, the magnet popped right out. So obviously the glue sticks there are not going to hold it in. Right at the moment, I have the magnet sitting up there. What I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to use a metal plate. I'm going to stick it on the back here and the magnet will actually stick to it from the other side. So basically they're going to try to hold each other and to hide this metal plate, I am going to be using this for here and that should solve my issue. Yeah, this thing definitely sounds quite nice. I love it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm probably going to put a dust cap on here. Cool. I made my circle. So now I'm going to cut that out. There we go. 
don't really want this metal plate to be sticking out. I'm not going to squish it, so I want to try to cut a little bit of the cardboard out and then set it in that way it's flush with the other cardboard. So I'm going to try to cut out this. I'm uh, not all the way down, just enough that way I can peel it back. There we go. Try to use the blade here to lift it. Nice. And just kind of bend these down a bit. And should be able to just slide this in. I just want to test fit it first. Uh, trace around it here how much I need to cut out. Should be deep enough. Oh yeah, nice and flush. See how flush that is. So you can see. Best is I'm gonna get out of the glue gun. There we go. Just twisting it into place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of clean up some of my mess on the edges from yesterday and just uh, make it look a little bit nicer. Well, I made the dust cap, but uh, it does have some issues here. I'm going to actually have to trim it to the cone here because the fact that uh, apparently the cone is not completely circular and neither is this. So I'm going to have to custom fit them. I want this seam to follow this seam here. So I just got to do a little bit of tweaking. It's not completely perfect. It's very tight around the edges here. It's just there's a little bit of a gap here. I'm not too worried about that, but as soon as you push down on it, that gap is gone. All right, it's time to put this uh, magnet inside of the speaker, and it should suck all the way down. I just have to center it, that way it doesn't rub up against the cone here. Well, the speaker is almost finished. The cone's done, that's done, the magnet is in there, uh, the plate is finished. Popsicle stick, wiring, uh, it's been tested, it works perfectly fine. Uh, the last little piece, I guess, would actually be putting this dust cap onto the woofer. So I'm going to try to put some glue around the edges here. Try to push down on it. Well, I guess it's done. Unless I want to write something on the back end of it. All I gotta do now is just paint that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play this fixing my old TV. Hey guys, I'm gonna be fixing and repairing this RCA television. The issue with it is when you went to turn it on it would instantly turn back off so i ended up taking it apart and i found out what the issue is hopefully it's the only issue uh this sorry for the skipping a little bit uh this is a 4k video trying to play back on a raspberry pi so and it's pretty impressive that it even tried to load You know, this has got to be one of the most coolest projects I've ever made out of cardboard. Like, come on. Look at this. It's a cardboard speaker. Well, you got cardboard. You got paperish type of cardboard that came from the dollar store. You got glue, which also came from the dollar store. And the glue gun, which actually seems to work pretty well. Uh, Neodymium magnet came from Banggood. It was like four to six bucks Canadian. Popsicle stick. Uh, the copper came out of a broken motor that was going to get chucked out. I always have wires kicking around, so there's that. I would bring this thing inside the house, except for I'm not really sure about this neodymium magnet. I don't want it anywhere near computers or electronics. Even just being this close to my camera kind of concerns me a little bit, so I don't want to get too close with it. I am going to release another video, that way you guys can actually hear audio out of here some music because I worked really hard editing and putting this thing together it took me like three days off and on I had other things I was doing at the same time as well but YouTube and their copyright crap I just don't want to actually risk this video 
so I will be making another one. I'm also going to probably make a video on Facebook with an actual song. That's if Facebook will allow it. If they do, I will actually put the link in the other video and probably this one as well. I don't know. We'll have to see how that, that one goes. But I also want to make another video. I want to put this thing inside of a cardboard box. I was thinking of a wooden box, but it says this thing is made out of cardboard. And I guess other crap as well. It would sound a lot better in, in a wooden box, but cardboard box makes more sense as this whole thing is cardboard. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Um, there'll be more to come over the speaker. I don't think I'm ever going to make another one. I do have another project that I want to try. It may fail though, but we'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, please do rate subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Damn. I like this thing.